I'm here with Coach Daryl Barbe of the Jasper Bulldogs. You had a great game last week with Grosbeck. Tell me about how your team's performing and what kind of level they're performing at right now. Uh, you know, I think we're performing at a high level. Uh, the one thing I think we've done this entire year is we've gotten better. You know, as the season has progressed, we've gotten a little better. We've played some pretty tough competition. Uh, you know, we played West Orange early in the year. Uh, I think we got better from that game because they kind of exposed us a little bit. Uh, I think when we lost to Carthage, you know, in the district game, uh, they kind of exposed us a little bit, you know, there. I'm saying, you know, no one likes to lose, but losing kind of makes you think a little bit. And, uh, you know, we can't afford to lose anymore because we'll be going to the house. But, uh, you know, those games that we lost, I think it made us go back to the drawing board, and I think we've gotten better for it. So, you know, we're getting better each week, and, uh, you know, we look forward to this week. Well, this week you talk about you've got Navasota coming up. They've been, they're, you know, they obviously uh, are running at 11-0 in their record. Uh, they also are, you know, they're ranked fairly high in the in the state and in the country. How does that? How does your team perceive that? Perceive that as a challenge? Uh, I mean, any team you play is a challenge. Uh, as far as what they're ranked and what their record is, uh, you know, the main thing is, is you know, we're going to go into it not being intimidated and not being scared. Uh, you know, they gonna they, they catch passes, they run balls just like we do. We got to, you know, they're going to tackle, they're going to hit. Uh, it's no different. I mean, uh, those rankings and kind of undefeated. You know, I saw two colleges go down last week that looked pretty good. You know, Kansas State and Oregon went down, and nobody would have thought in a million years. So uh, anybody can beat anybody on a Friday night. Uh, that is inevitable. And, uh, you know, our kids are not intimidated whatsoever. We're going to play hard. We're going to get after it. And we're going to do everything we can. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And Coach, the practices I've attended and the games that I've seen you play in, it doesn't look like your kids ever get tired. Do you really push them to get, uh, you know, conditioning strengthened to that point where they just don't get tired in the fourth quarter? I think early in the year, you know, conditioning in the summer was a major factor. Uh, you know, I, I don't talk about, you know, the previous staffs. I, you know, I don't know what they did, but I know we've always uh, pushed our kids, you know, after practice, uh, pursuit drill, conditioning, sprints, uh, you know, if you're going to win early in the season, you've got to be in good shape. And then as you start winning, uh, kids start gaining confidence, and then conditioning is just kind of part of it. Uh, you know, the one thing we have done is, you know, once it starts getting cooler, you can t you can slack off a little bit. You don't have to run as much because, you know, you're in shape. Once you play yourself into shape and you finally get to that point, you know, and a lot of it's just playing hard. You know, you just have to get after it. And our kids are in shape. They play hard, and, uh, you know, we're excited. Tell me a little bit about Terrence Cooney, how he's performing this season for you. Uh, really uh, has been a surprise. You know, when we first got here, we were evaluating all of our kids. We really just didn't know any of our kids that well. Uh, he was a outside linebacker last year and really didn't run the ball at all. And uh, he's kind of worked himself in. We had three backs kind of going into it, and then he's kind of emerged as one of our better backs. And, you know, he, uh, uh, in the center game, the last district game of the season, you know, he pretty much took over the last two drives of the game. And he's, he gets better. You know, the more you carry the ball, the better you get. And he does that. He's a very strong runner, uh, very physical. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's just a good back. And, you know, I'm glad we have him. And we'll have him back next year, too. And your uh, quarterback, Stephen Walker, how does his level of play? I mean, you know he's been really well this year. So he gets better every week. Uh, you know, the one thing about Stephen is, is he's a great leader and a great competitor. Our kids have confidence in him, uh, you know, on and off the field. Uh, they know he, you know, if he's not able to get it done, it's not because it's not lack of effort. You know, Stephen's going to try as hard as anybody. And when you have that, kids believe in that. And, and our team, our, our team believes in Stephen. Now, Coach, you play this Friday, a day after Thanksgiving. Tell me when and where that game's going to be. We're going to play in Conroe at uh, Moorhead Stadium Friday at 6 o'clock. And uh, we hope to have everyone out there. We think it's going to be a great game, and we're excited. And, you know, we're ready for the challenge. Thank you, Coach. Good luck, and we'll see you there. Hey, have a great Thanksgiving.